welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new, I hope you will consider friending the channel by subscribing. Returning subscribers, welcome back and thank you again. You guys are amazing. Today I'm going to be making cowboy candy and it's just candied jalapenos. And for this recipe, you will need two teaspoons of garlic powder, three pounds of jalapenos, a half a teaspoon of celery seed, six cups of sugar, a teaspoon of turmeric, and two cups of apple cider vinegar. And we're just gonna start by slicing our jalapenos into slices. I would say about a quarter of an inch thick. I'm gonna go ahead, you could leave the seeds in if you wanted to. I'm gonna remove most of them to seed safe for next year. And the seeds do make it a lot more spicy, so that's up to you whether you wanna leave the seeds in or take the seeds out. Another thing I wanna mention is you may wanna wear some type of gloves while you're cutting your jalapenos that spiciness will get on your hands. And then if you touch your face or your mouth or your eyes, anything like that, it will burn you. So just be aware of that. And all I'm gonna do to save the seeds, I have one of my paper plates that I labeled extra large jalapenos. So while I'm slicing it, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off and then I'm gonna cut it long ways also so that I can get those seeds out of there. And then I'm just gonna put them on my paper plate for a few days until they feel dry. And then I will go ahead and put them in baggies to save for next year to grow in the garden. And there's your seeds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those on the paper plate. I am gonna remove them from the pulp stuff in the middle and then let them dry. If you prefer to leave the seeds in, you do not have to cut them in half. You could just go ahead and make them all round slices and that's perfectly fine. Again, I'm removing them just to try to save some of the seeds and to make it a little less spicy. Another thing I wanna mention is to be careful that you don't slice your glove into your jalapeno peppers. It's, nobody's gonna wanna eat that later. <laughs> So make sure if you do clip it, you get it out of there. So now we have our three pounds of jalapenos cut up and I'm gonna set those aside. We're gonna go ahead and start on the brine. I am gonna go ahead and start my water bath so that I can can these once they're finished. And I did already go ahead and sterilize my jars. And these are the jalapeno seeds that I'm saving for next year. I didn't keep all of the seeds. I kept the ones that were from the largest jalapenos that I had, and then the rest I'm just gonna go ahead and discard. But I wanted to show you how many jalapeno plants you could grow just from that little bit of jalapenos that we sliced up. To make the brine, I went ahead and added six cups of sugar to my saucepan. And now I'm going to add two cups of the apple cider vinegar in with that. And I found a 32 ounce thing of the apple cider vinegar at Dollar Tree, so just keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my two teaspoons of garlic powder. a teaspoon of turmeric, and then a half a teaspoon of celery seed. Okay. 
So we're gonna bring our brine to a boil and then back the temperature down to let it simmer for five minutes. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add the jalapeno peppers. Bring this back to a boil. Once it starts boiling, then you wanna back it back down to a simmer for four minutes. So now all we're going to do is go ahead and pack our jars with the candied jalapenos. You can keep them in the refrigerator and eat them that way, or you can can them, which is what I'm going to do so that I can give them as gifts. And I'm going to process mine for about 20 minutes in the water bath canner. But look up the instructions yourself make sure that you are doing the correct time for your area and I am using a slotted uh, spoon to drain the juice as I'm packing it I will go back and add the juice at the end And I am leaving about a quarter of an inch of head space at the top of the jars. So that's all there is to it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day. I hope you'll come back and see me again, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, love you guys.